Hello, hello, hello. So glad you're listening. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe. That supports this completely free channel if we are inspiring to you. Um, today, we're going to do a business read for you. Let's look at everyone's businesses. Okay, so here's what I say. Everybody's got to have some sort of business sense because you have to be able to sell yourself and write a good resume, right? So we're all really building our little mini empires, regardless of fact if you work for, for a company or if you work on your own, or if you want to start a business or a side business or nonprofit. Let's look at that. Let's look at your little empire. Um, my name is Andrea. I'm an intuitive life coach and yoga teacher. I do all things woo-woo. If you would like to subscribe to my website, please do so. The website is in the description box. Okay. So we're going to look at your business. Why? Your finances, business, all of that. Um, you know, like I said, you're a little empire that we all, we're all building together. Okay. So somebody's up at night worrying about probably finances about the next step in your business, about where to go from here. That's okay. It, you're going to get the, okay, you've got to rest. Okay, you've got to because worrying is not going to make it better. I promise you that because I've tried it. <laughs> I've tried that. It did not work. Worrying. So you need to seek out some sort of coach, counselor, advisor, or some sort of coach person. I'm also hearing someone inv invested in the stock market in which did not prosper in your stocks. You got to do more research. Um, the high priestess, it's going to be somebody, uh, there's a female in your life that's going to assist you. Could, some of it's family, some of it's online, some of it's an actual teacher. Start researching your people that you're going to learn from. Educate yourself more on how to make your money, make money, okay? Make money in your sleep. And I see you moving on from an investment, a job, or a career, and that's good. It is time. It is so time. This will lead to balance for you. Um, and the lovers, okay, so you're either, so some of you are going to move on from a job, okay, and you're going to get offered a better job and you're going to love it. Some of you are going to rethink your resume, your career, your everything, and it's going to be the right decision. And some people, okay, some people, this could be about a credit advisory situation. You're going to consult somebody about your credit score so that you can have more financial balance in your life. Um, the King of Swords, there's a dude here, there's a man that's wanting to, that can be of support and advice to you. And the Tower card, yay! So there's, I love the Tower card because it is change, right? Um, goal reaching, here's the thing is that you have to change your behavior to get a new reality. Bottom line, right? You've got to change your habits, your behavior, everything to get a new reality. And let's see what follows the Tower card. You will walk away winning here. Whatever's happening, you will walk away. This will be a win for you. You're saying goodbye to a lot of things though here. Just no, you're saying goodbye to people with like no boundaries, employees, friends, people just sort of trying to um, sort of stand on you. Um, you're walking away. You're like, bye. And look, there's the judge or an official person. This could be somebody or this could be like a clerk of courts, like saying like a will or it could be a situation where you're getting your business license or signing a loan document or closing on that house. And you're going to go inward for a little while. Uh, you make all these changes in your life to try to balance out financially. Okay, here's the difference. It's okay to want a good quality of life. That's, this does not mean that you are chasing money. You want decent house. You want transportation. You want utilities. You want food. You want savings. That's the difference. Don't think that you are chasing money or think that you are money hungry. Whoever is accusing you of this, they do not understand that you're simply wanting your needs met for yourself and your family. That is it. There's a difference between that and sort of price gouging or being greedy. Um, go inward and you're going to have a time probably through the holidays of just inward meditating and figuring out and listening to spirit. It could be an uphill battle because probably it does affect the holidays. <laughs> You're going to be like, well, okay, I've just let go of everyone in my life. And now I'm sitting here by myself. You know, that is not bad. That can be a gift. Because to get to this empire you're building, to get to these big goals, you've got to be able to sit with yourself on some level, okay? Um, you're going to come up, as you're by yourself, you're going to come up with a solution. Spirit's going to give you a plan, like a better plan, for you to be able to create this life you want. You've got to change this generational, like, contract with poverty okay you've got to change that and you have the ability to change that now the generations that create the most change 
are the most tortured, like really. So there's all this mystery around. Nobody's going to know how you did it, but you're going to do it. People are going to be like, how did she even do that? How did he even do that? But your family is going to come back together in harmony. And honestly, you're saving yourself and your family when you make these changes. Um, that's my reading for you today. Going into the new year, set those goals and focus on you because the more you focus on you, the more you are able to help those around you that you love. Okay. So that's it. And thank you for listening and continue to share, like everything, share, like, do all the social media stuff for me. And I shall do the same for you if you go on my page and post. So thank you and namaste.